And we're back for round one. So, let's go be on the play, and this hand looks reasonable enough. Uh, we have a turn two and a turn three play, so we'll keep it. Let's see what our opponent Civitrick Civitrick no Civitrick or Civ I don't know whatever I can't pronounce that one. <laughs> hmm. Anyways, so we gotta wait for them to show up. So that might be a few seconds. All right, our opponent has returned, so now we can actually get to the game. Yay, blossoming sands, pass. <laughs> hmm. All right, so let's see what he's got going on here. A mountain, nothing too fancy. Ooh, a swamp, perfect. That'll eventually allow, or that'll get us closer to Necropolis Green. I could have seen um, sticking with just showing the green white for starters, but green white's kind of a tell that you're in Abzan. Unless you're doing just green white for some reason. But green white's a fairly reasonable tell towards Abzan. He just is running in straight up out a jeering instigator for no additional value other than being a 2 1. The heck? Whatever. All right. Let's get some. Let's get some of our Outlast guys out then, shall we? So, Tuscard Captain, go do your Tuscard Captain stuff. And if he wants to trade, we can trade. I should have swung first, but okay, he's still going to trade. I don't get it. I would. I. I. I don't understand. <laughs> We'll just let him keep doing what he's doing. Playing value morphs face up, uh, trading when he doesn't need to trade. All right, whatever. You know, well, we'll let uh, we'll let our opponent just keep doing what he's doing. All right. Um, I'm going to run out the salt road patrol this turn, and then next turn we can start with some outlast action. Uh, this turn, though, we get to swing with our 2-3. So, that's a plus. Hmm. Depending on what we draw, we either get to outlast one of our guys or both our guys. So, we have to consider that. I think he's going to get the Tusk Guard Captain, correct? No, the Assault Rope Patrol. The one that doesn't do crap. He really just wants in for that two damage, huh? I don't get it. I don't get it. <sighs> I'm not going to attempt to get it, I guess. I'm just going to take two. Whatever. Oh, Russian battle. That'll be useful at some point. Alright, second, but we can just outlast, so... We'll take four this next turn, and then we'll have our guy set up to basically deal with whatever. I don't know if he's on Jeskai or on Mardu yet, because he's showing just the red-white portion. So we'll have to obviously wait and see on that one. He's like, eh, maybe I won't attack with my morph. And I'm like, okay, whatever. You can help not attack with your morph. Saves me some damage. <laughs> Okay, and another land. All right, we got a lot of lands going right now. Um, makes me a little worried about what his morph is. With red mana up, it could be the five two. It could be the three three first striker. It could be the three six. Or it could be a one five. I'm trying to think through what all the options are with that colors of mana. I think it's good. We're good for an attack. There's the only chance that's the five two, and then we trade. So you know, 
Yeah, he's just going to take it. Odds were in my favor that my guy would survive that attack. Okay, so he's on Mardu, which means his guy's likely a Ponyback Brigade then. Because we definitely saw plenty of those get passed around. So, I think he swings for four. Yep. Makes sense. Uh, so, okay. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Ponyback Brigade. Brigade. That makes sense. We need to draw some more guys. It's a guy. It'll do. It, it's something. <laughs> um, hmm. Alright, we're gonna not outlast this turn. We're gonna wait. Um, so, Russia Battle will work out pretty well because both my guys are warriors. At some point, they will work out well at least. What are you doing? An ankle shanker. OMFG, man. That's douchey. <laughs> I gotta get rid of that stupid thing. Alright, so I'm taking a lot of damage here. Uh, nine to be exact. Alright. Another basic land. Um, so. I'm currently going to take nine. Let's see. I can deal one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gain seven. I'll put him at eight. And then I just die the turn after. Um, I could chump, which point I die now. I think we gotta go with the Russia battle because it's the only way we don't die right this split second. It sucks, but it's the only way I don't die right this split second. So, you know. Ankle shanker. That's douchey. This silly card. Haste, first strike, and death touch. Really? Because you need all of those abilities, right? <clears throat> right now, what I wouldn't give for a death frenzy. <laughs> I mean, really? That'd be nuts. But I don't have any, so that doesn't do me any good. A what? Why would you play that thing? It's a four. I mean, okay, don't get me wrong. It's it's a it's a big creature, but really, you must have been short on playables. I mean, I'm still dead, so whatever. Not gonna reveal any more info, but. He must have been short on playables to have to be playing a Kara Dread Maw. Hmm. Alright. We need a way to deal with an ankle shanker. What options do we have? Only the options currently in our deck, which are Raid of the Serpent and Necropolis Fiend and Retribution of the Agents. Lovely. Alright. Wonderful. Well, I guess we'll go and face down the Ankle Shanker again. Uh, this is a keep. It's got perfect mana. Plays right into Anafenza. It goes Disowned Ancestor, Outlast the Ancestor, Anafenza. So, yeah, that seems pretty solid. Then we have like a morph and raider spoils, so yeah, this could be very good for us. <sighs> we'll have to obviously see what happens. But. Ancestor, you have been disowned. Go sit on the battlefield. <laughs> Go sit on the battlefield, my disowned ancestor.
Alright. We'll play green and at last. So we need to we know that he has suspension field in his deck. So that is something to consider highly when figuring out what we're gonna be doing. Or he's just gonna use it now, which works out perfectly fine for me. Um, the only difference that makes is the fact that I might um, want to see if I could have a warrior out for hit raider spoils, but I think we're just going to play Anafenza and just have a 4-4. Because he wasted a suspension field again. I swear, he, he seems to choose the wrong targets for it, but you never know. Maybe it's just from my opinion. A watcher of the roost. Okay, sure, you got a 2-1. <laughs> Alright, well, we got more mana now, so... She only puts them on tapped creature. Yep, so we'll just swing with her, then we'll play... Um, our morph face down, obviously, because it'll be a morph. Gives me surprise, element of surprise a little bit. I'm not going to get to trigger the draw effect on Raider's spoils for a bit, but you know, we'll deal with it. Yeah, I'll take two. Whatever. Okay, you got a 4-5. Uh, means that Anafenza really can't attack now, which is unfortunate, because that thing's just big. Um, I think we'll just play another Morph, then. And we'll pass. Because I need to, I mean, if when I play Raider Spoils, it'll make Anafenza big enough to beat that thing. So, I mean, I can trade Anafenza out at that point. I don't know, hard to say. Burn away, probably on Anafenza. Sure, goodbye Anafenza. So much for that plan. <laughs> um, Alright, well... Looks like we're going to be relying a little more heavily on the Raider Spoils uh, plan. Then. So he's not even going to attack with it, with his big guy. Um, so what we're going to do is play Raider Spoils and pass, I think, right now. Because I want to be able to flip whoever he blocks to trade with his Bellowing Saddle Brute, I believe, is the current goal. So the other option is flipping whoever he doesn't block in order to um, draw a card. So, I have options available to me. Hmm. What are you up to now? A murder war shrieker. Lovely. And a high spire mantis. Also lovely. Okay, well, I can swing with both my guys, flip whichever one gets blocked by the saddle boot, trade out two guys for two guys, and then get beat down by flyers. Hmm, <laughs> that seems like a bad idea. Hmm. <laughs> Although, we also have a Mardu Horde Chief. Hmm. Well, let's do it. I think we're going to do it. It's, I think it's the best play. He's not blocking. Okay, well then I'm flipping an Abzan Guard. Gaining 5 life. And drawing a card. Let's see, he has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 12 damage on the field. So we're still in reasonable enough shape. And we just took out a nice sizable chunk of his life total. So. Let me guess. Ankle Shanker. Yep. I mean, it's not that hard to guess. 
So the question is, what does he do? Obviously he can't push his entire team. But he can push a large portion of it, I suppose. Ankle Shrinker is useless on the defense, so he should probably push that. Okay. That's fine then, I guess. I'll take nine. Go to nine. Sure. That's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I actually can flip and play Mardu Horde Chief this turn, which is nice. Well, actually, I don't need to flip this. Um, because it's going to trade anyways. So why bother flipping it? I'd rather just play two cards and have more blockers. So let's get this down. Get me some more blockers online. And then I will get... This down, this down. So now my opponent's going to have to play a defensive game instead of an offensive game. Because he doesn't have enough power left on the field to kill me in one fell swoop, as it looks like. Because there's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. He could have um, the 5 damage burn effect. At which point I just chump the Bellowing Saddle Brute with my Warrior token. And then I come back and I kill him. So, yeah. Alright. So we win that game. Um, so let's see here. Still not too much I can do against a Ankle Shanker. Because, well... It's an ankle shanker. <laughs> so I'm just going to submit. I mean, sometimes there's just nothing you can do about a card your opponent has, aside from what few answers you have, naturally. So, And I have, I think we counted them, um, two, two ways to answer it? No, three. Three, because of this, uh, Retribution of the Ancients. Uh, which would be nice to actually have online against him. Because that'll wipe out everything he has if I can have an active Retribution of the Ancients. Apparently our opponent's actually choosing to sideboard now. Now that they lost the game, they're like, ah, okay, I gotta play against this. <laughs> I need to be prepared for this. Or for that. Or for, you know, whatever they're saying. And we're back. Um, this is a keepable hand. So yeah, go for it. Run out turn one disowned ancestor into Outlast or into Mardu Hate Blade, whichever way I think works better against whatever he's playing at that moment. Probably just into Outlast. The entire goal of which is to land a turn three war chief with our aid, so we'll figure out what he does. I mean if he obviously just goes like land and suspension field, which he's not doing clearly, um, then I would have done what was necessary to do deal with that. Outlast here. So yeah, looks like we should be online to get some raid going. Alright. So let's go ahead and swing our 1-5 into his thing. Maybe he'll think we have a trick. It's always possible. Never know. I could have, like, Feet of Resistance to kill this guy. Or Defiant Strike, even. Or something else. I have all sorts of options. And he has no clue. Hmm. 
Right now, he is just debating whether or not he can block safely. He is defiant, he cannot. Excellent. Alright, Horde Chief, go! Do your chieftainy thing. He is m on mono mountains right now, which is pretty solid for me. Alright, and he just straight up scoops. What? He had a pony back brigade. Alright, well, we win! Yay, we'll see you all, I'll see you all in round two.